while I'm out today at the site of a battle between the Germans and the Americans. Um, there's a very slight dip here which then looks down on the town. Um, so I'm running along here and I've just had this which looks like a World War II shell but I can't it looks like it's got T6 on it but I'm not sure I'll have to clean that up. I don't know whether that's World War II or not. Um, but it was just down there, just behind the boot. So it's the first find. So I will continue along here because if people were coming up this road here, that would be a good place of defence here. So right, we'll carry on and see what we can find. I'll well, just add that. <coughs> Next find. I don't know what that is. But uh, as it's right in where the trenches are, put it in the pouch. There's a row of barbed wire running along the front here as well um, from the war. So I'm assuming they had barbed wire to stop the people just walking in and then the guns are here somewhere so I might branch out a bit further in there but there was definitely a defensive point here. Um, it does go up on allegedly onto a big steep hill further in the woods so I will work my way up there but at the moment I'm just concentrating along here see if we can find any more bullets or any wasted clips because at the moment I haven't identified whether it's American stuff or German stuff. Well, I've just done another one of these ring things. I'm running along another line of trenches and this looks like it's almost got a bullet or something in it. I don't know. Uh, let's have a look. Well, that looks like a bolt. Uh, I don't know what these are, they're like uh, something that goes on a container. Uh, I'll have to look them up. Um, so yeah, that's the second one we found, so they've got to be something. But at the moment, we don't know what. Um, I'm just running along, there's two lines of trenches here. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see, I think the only way I can show you is if you look there, just under that tree, there's like a little dip. There's one here, and there's one just over there in front of that tree run down. So it's like a twin row of trenches. So I'm having a look along here, see what we can find, but I don't know, I don't know what that is. Uh, oh well, I'll put it in the pouch and I'll clean it up. There must be something on it. It looks like there's some thread on there. So it screws in on something. Right, let's carry on. Well, I just dug that. It's uh, flattened, but it's some like big aluminium cap. Um, I don't know what that is. I'll clean that up because I know the Germans did use aluminium. Um, it could be quite old. I don't know whether there's any markings or anything on there. Oh, hang on. Give me two seconds. Hold on. No, I couldn't see anything on it, so uh, anyway, I'll get cleaned up and we'll carry on. I'll do a bit more along the trenches here, see what we can find. The trench is actually running along there, so I'm standing in it now, directly here. And the other one is just over here. is running directly here. So you've got two trenches together. So you could have had a mortar trench type thing at the beginning and then the infantry in here and then they'd have been looking down there in the forest as the other people approached. So that's once they got over the barbed wire. 
So I don't know how old these trees are, but this could have been all open, you don't know. So anyway, I'll concentrate around here for a bit and see how we get on. Well, I've just had the next find. Uh, it's another one of those sort of cap things, but this is open. And this one's got all the metal folded back down the side and some black paint on it down here. <coughs> and this is smack bang right in the middle of one of these trenches. So it's about five inches down in the hole here. So I'm thinking this could be World War II. Again, I don't know. It's whether I can get a positive ID on it or not. I'll have to try and open it out and straighten it carefully without breaking it. Um, see if we can find out what it is. Anyway, let's crack on. Well, this is quite heavy. Uh, if I didn't know better, I'd say that was the end of a gun or the top of a, of a mortar, but it's really heavy. Um, that, I think, is actually something. Uh, I'm in this area here, which is quite high up. I started finding some more bits of iron, so I thought I'd spiral out. I've just dug just over there, I've just spiralled out and I've got to here, but that looks very, very interesting. Right, I will crack on, but I've got to carry that round now, and that weighs a ton, but I'd rather have found that than not. Brilliant. Right, on we go. I think I've identified what we're finding. Uh, I'll just get that. That is one of what we've just found, but blown up. So, as it's coming this way, I would assume that is Amer American artillery. Um, well, now I've got a whole one, I should be able to measure that and find out what shell that is. It's probably from the howitzer. So the Americans obviously uh, wanted the top of this hill. So this is where they laid siege, and I'm getting quite a bit of this as I'm going round. So I'm going to head up that way and keep going because this could be where the action took place for the final assault on the hill. Okay, let's carry on. Well, we're finding stuff. We just had that. This looks like some sort of stake. I've seen you put barbed wire or something on it. I don't know. But it's quite deep, so I suspect that's from the war as well, but I can't carry that out. I'll have to rebury that. But I'm slowly heading upwards here. Uh, higher we get to see the more we seem to be finding. So, right, let's crack on. Well, there's another one of those uh, stake things, as you can see. With the handle, champion thing. Uh, but again, I can't take these back because they're too big to fit my pouch. And I'm, I'll probably get home and kick myself when I find out what they are. But right, let's get on. Right, well, <coughs> I think we're getting closer. As you can see, genuine World War II German barbed wire. This was just laying against the tree. So maybe those things I'm finding are part of that. But that is that amount there is definitely a giveaway. That is definitely German. I might try and take a bit home for this, I might try and do some uh, bits and pieces when I get back, but yeah, how cool is that? Right, we'll carry on. Right, well we've just got the next target. It uh, looks to be another shell uh, tip. It's definitely exploded, uh, half the sides missing here. Uh, but yeah, it's a big old thing. So we're definitely on top of where the, I'm assuming as these are heads landing, this is where the Americans were shelling the German uh, troops. But I found no, on this point, I found no sign of um, any trenches or anything. So I can only assume there was artillery or something here and they were trying to take it out. Um, so anyway, we'll carry on. It's quite heavy. I don't know if I can take that or not. Uh, I'll see if I can get it in my bag. But, okay, let's crack on. Right, I just dug that. It's not shrapnel. It's got two raised vertical lines here. I assume in a hole through the middle. I'm not sure. Uh, it's iron. But it's different to what I've been finding. Um, I've come across the other side of the path now. and I'm in the very top bit of the woods. And there's still targets everywhere. So anyway, we'll carry on. We'll see what else we get. I'm running out of room in my pouch. So I just had uh, the first one here. 
out a hole here, I've had another one of these things. I don't know what they are. So, uh, anyway, we'll crack on. I'm going to head just straight back down that way and then uh, do a bit more over in the woods. Well, look at the blooming size of that thing that I've got in my hands. That is a shell and a half. God knows what's fired that. I haven't found one of them yet. Oh, I'd love to try and get that back, but I don't know if I can carry it out of here. It's massive. Right, I'll see if I can get it in, because from that, I reckon you could identify what that actually was. But it's ginormous. How cool is that? Right, we'll carry on. Well, I just had a surface find. It was right on the top. It's uh, some sort of lid. It's got a handle on the top for turning it. And two brackets. On the side for, uh, I don't know whether that's to do with a shell case or I'm not really sure. But again, quite a cool find. It's something we can look up. So I'm just in this little area here and uh, it was literally where is it? Just there by the fur cone. So I'll pan out from here, see what else is round here. But if that's on the top, there could be some good stuff here. Right, we carry on. Right, we've just had this. It's a completely unfired bullet. Looks like it's been part of a machine gun because it seems to have got the clip still round it here. It's got WI or IM RG. 1942. I'll see if I can get a close up and post it, but that's quite good. It's literally just there to the right of my shovel, and I've got some more targets there, so I'm going to do some more digging because I think we've probably got some more down there. So, anyway, let me show you the pictures of this and then we'll get to see what else is down there. Well, I've got another signal and uh, just run the detector over it, and it's another one of those lids. Um, There's another one here by my foot. I reckon that's probably another lid. It's giving something in here. It's saying there's something here. I'm not feeling anything. Ah, look. Another bullet. And another live one. So. It doesn't look good for whoever was shooting from here. Looks like they may have got shot. Because they dropped loads of live ammo. So let me clean this one. Let me see if this is off the same clip. I don't know if you can... Uh, yeah, you can see that quite well. That bullet's got um, a blue tip on it. I assume that's probably a trace around. I'm not sure. But I'll look that when I'll get back. But that's, uh, again, got the clip out of it. So this was belt fed. So someone here was sitting here with a machine gun firing. So anyway, we'll continue looking. Um, I'll get the lid, I'll get some pictures up of that as well. Right, I'm going to leave that on now. Unfortunately, I'll chuck the other one. So anyway, let's get some pics. Well, I don't know if you're going to be able to see down in there. Two seconds, let me get you in a bit closer. We've got um, a spill here of cartridges, loads of them, live ones. Hold on a moment. So as you can see, there's quite a few down in the hole. Yeah, uh, you can just pick them out. Loads of them. So anyway, let me clear out the hole, and uh, we'll go and see what we've got over on the log. But someone here, I reckon it uh, was their demise. Well, I don't know if, uh, if that's war or not, but it seems to have. Nerf uh, and Einstellen. I have no idea what that means on it. We just cleaned it up. So we'll see what that says. I mean, that may be World War II. It may not. It's, it's all in the same area where my detector is, so it could possibly be. But here's the uh, result of the, coin, the uh, bullet spill. We've got loads. 
So anyway, I'll put that with the rest and uh, I'll carry on digging, see if we can get any more. Deep, as you can see there, I'll put my hand right down in there. I'll just add that. Um, I don't know what it is, it's obviously been blown up. some sort of thread on it, it's like a cap I suppose, I don't know. Uh, lock in here, screws on. Uh, I'll have to clean it up and have a look, I don't know. But yeah, there's targets everywhere here. So I think I'm right on top of the battle at the moment. So, right, let's carry on. Well, I've just found the biggest shell fragment I've ever managed to get my hands on. Look at the size of this mother. That is ginormous. Uh, yeah. That's going massive. Uh, it's even got the, the shape here. And then it goes down to the little, uh, I'm assuming that's the drive band. But I've oh got, that is really heavy as well. I'd love to take that back, but I can't carry that. That's going to have to go back in, but what a massive piece of shell. Or do I try and bring it back? It is quite cool. I could mount that on the wall. Uh, I'll see what I can do. But Jesus, that was deep. Right, let's carry on. Right, well, I've just had a cartridge. I can't make out anything on the back. Um, but I can take this one, because obviously it's empty. But this could well be a German one. I'm not too sure. I can't see any letters at all. So uh, anyway, I'll get it in the acid bath and see where it comes up like. Anyway, we crack on. Well, just at the, uh, obviously the cartridge, which was just down there, and just in front of this tree, just there, just had a bullet tip, so something was going on here. So anyway, we'll, uh, how long have we got left? That's no, 10 to four, I'm getting picked up at five, so I've got my alarm set for half four. So anyway, let's crack on, see if we can get some more finds in the pouch. Right, we've just had a, another one of those lids. Hasn't got a handle on this one, it's in a bit worse condition. But, uh, quite down now, I don't know what they're off. They seem to be all over the place, so I hope I can identify these. So anyway, I'm making my way back and uh, see what other treasures we can get. Well, not far from the bullet, just add that. Uh, not the bullet, the lid. So, uh, can't see any detail on the back of these yet. Uh, no, nothing at all. Oh well, I don't know if that's German or whatever, but we'll clean it up. Anyway, I haven't got a lot of time left, so I'm going to get cracking. Well, I'll just add this little uh, thing. Um, metal giving a good signal but well, I don't know what it is I'm going to look up and see if that's the outside of a hand grenade it's just a fragment from one I'm not really sure see if I can get an idea on it anyway well 
Right, I'm working my way back now, so I'm probably about halfway back, I should think, so let's get cracking. You've got to be having a giraffe. Look at this. That to me looks like the lid of a container you transport a shell in. But look at the size of the thing. Uh, okay. We'll definitely be taking that and trying to clean it up, see if there's any markings on it. It was actually down there in the little trench. So, right, I'm going to place that on here. Just do a bit more and see what else we can find. Right, I'll crack on.